The journey of self-discovery continues for Tayan Booth. He finds himself at the local designer store in search of a last-minute outfit. The cult leader couldn't be any more last-minute if he tried. It's 5 p.m. now, and he's due to meet his future potential wife at 7 p.m. Tyan heads to the men's floor to find himself an outfit to impress the lucky lady. Oh, let's see. There's some corny Muhammad Ali stuff over there. You see that corny Muhammad Ali t-shirt? Yeah, fuck that. Look, look at this. Anyone would think trading standards had just turned up. Oh, you see this? See this corny t-shirt here? Yeah. I would never walk around, you know, wearing that. Like, I don't know. It's just a bit... The greatest. All right, let's have a look around and see what's... I don't want to overdo it. I don't want this fucking woman to feel like I'm trying really hard, you know, like I'm desperate. You know, like a simp. You see that? That's what I'd wear, it's a two-pack, yeah? I don't, I don't like Ali. I, he's all right, but I just, I don't know, man. But I like Tupac. Oh, look at this. What happened to not looking desperate? Yeah, man. I don't want to try and pretend I'm gangster. Tyan decides to share some dating experiences. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't go on dates. I ain't, been on, I ain't been on dates. I used to just, I used to be on dates back in the day. I used to just turn up drunk. Yeah, but I've been wearing these clothes every single video that we've been doing. So I need to, I need to spice it up a bit, but not look too desperate, you know, with this woman, like I'm trying too hard to get posse and that. Well, that outfit of yours used to be black. It appears to have changed to gray. You are in desperate need of spicing it up. Does that look all right, yeah? Decent. What's it called? Future project. You know that, that top that I was wearing? Is it this one here? You know, on the back of this top, this box or top, it says, we don't play boxing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was walking around Dublin, you know, with that on my back, and I felt a bit self-conscious. You know what I mean? It's, it's too, uh, you know what I mean? Just chill out, man. We don't play boxing. It's not that deep. I didn't want to walk around Dublin, you know, like thinking I'm hard and that. We don't play boxing, but this is all right. Tyan's attention is then drawn to a sweater that is on sale. Uh, hold on a second, let me just check this shit out. The problem with buying like Primark stuff is like, when you're wearing it, loads of people have got them, you know, because it's cheap in here. So if, you have, if I'm walking around with this and loads of other men are like wearing the same shit as me, it's a bit like corny, isn't it? No, it's because it is cheap. But this top looks all right. With only an hour or so left for his date, Tyan is once again distracted from the task in hand, which is to buy a fresh outfit. Do you think Ali's, Muhammad Ali's family get a cut of this? Instead, he is now worrying about Muhammad Ali's royalties from selling clothes inside Primark. You know, these little Chinese kids, they work like 20 hours, you know, a day. Or sometimes they get locked in the warehouse, you know, in China. A load of Chinese kids, I told you before, they, get, they got locked in a, a factory. You know, so they couldn't leave. So they had to work all day and all night. And then the, fi the factory caught fire and they all died. You know, the Chinese kids and that. So all this shit here, it's made from a child slavery book. Just for clarity, it was a factory in Bangladesh, not China. Panic appears to be setting in as the cult leader struggles to pick an outfit and raises concerns about being judged by his date for turning up in Primark clothes. She might be arrogant, you know, because she's got men like giving her money every month. So she might feel, feel like she's above it. She might look at me like I'm scum. She's got a few followers as well, a few hundred thousand followers. If I wear a shirt and tie, is that a bit too formal? Shirt and tie on a first date? He really is out of the loop. <laughs> Yeah, I got my teeth done as well, you know. I told you, I got my teeth done at the dentist. But you know what I did? I did something snidey, you know, and I really regret it. You know when I got my teeth done? I ran out of the dentist, you know, without paying. Might go back tomorrow and pay him. It's, it was 90 pounds. Yeah, they kept ringing me, you know, the dentist. I might just buy this, you know, because it's kind of, it's a uh, plane. 
From stealing crisps in Subway to running out of the dentists without paying, what a fine example of society you are. Yeah, I'm going to buy this, you know. I'm going to try it on first. Yeah. By the looks of it, you could do with more than just a pair of new jeans. Yeah, which jeans shall I get? It looks like the cult leader is going for the Love Island look, white sweater and blue jeans. This date is looking promising. So this is how Tyan Booth measures himself up. It doesn't look like he knows his size. I might buy some little trainers, you know. It looks like he is making a real effort for his date. I always bring them back afterwards, innit? If I don't get any posse in that. Just get a refund. Oh, these are only four pounds. A refund on four pound trainers? He really has the status of a plum. I don't want her to like, think I'm too desperate to fuck her. That's why I, I was going to get my hair cut today. Well, the same day we're meeting her. But then I didn't want to look too sharp, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm overdoing it, so I got my hair cut a few days before. So I'd look decent for the camera, but not too like desperate to fucking impress this woman who's on OnlyFans. Oh, I think you are about to really push the boat out with these four pound trainers. On this top here, yeah, um, and these, tra sure these trousers, I mean these uh, shoes, yeah. what size are these? Um, Is it size size? Oh, 12, yeah. He really doesn't know what size he wears. That bedsit has ruined this man. Thanks for that. It's just when you first arrive. First arrive. After claiming he would never make too much of an effort in case he looks desperate, Tyan Booth finds himself inside the Primark changing rooms as he tries on his four pound trainers. After a few minutes, Tyan appears out of the changing rooms, looking like a boy who has been dressed by his mum for non-uniform day. Yeah, it looks all right, it looks decent, but you can see my nipples, you know, through this top. Can you see them? That might be a bit of an issue, you know. If... Yeah, man, but other than that, decent outfit. Yeah, if you say so. 15 pounds, so we'll see if this gets me any posse off this OnlyFans woman. I ain't got time to iron this though, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have to... I don't know if I got her iron. I don't think my iron works. I might have to go a bit creased up, but you don't mind. What happened to all this talk of not making uh, an effort? Yeah, this is this outfit works for me, so let's see how it goes. Let's go. We're ready, yeah? Let's roll. And just like that, the walking contradiction that is Tyan Booth oh, okay. appears ready yeah, for his right, big yeah. date. Thanks for that. It takes Tyan a few minutes to find the cashier. I suspect that he usually just walks out without paying. So just like that, Tyan Booth makes an effort for his date. He spends £25 on a new pair of jeans, a white sweater, and let's not forget them. Four pound trainers. Cheap. Cheap little outfit. You know, because of child labour. You know, in China and that. Looks all right though, don't it? Yeah, it's all right. If you was 10 years old on the way to school, Well. Like I say, I'm not trying too hard to impress this fucking woman, man. Of course you're not. I mean, why else would you go to Primark and spend £25 on a new outfit? The conversation then turns to armpit hair. Tyan is concerned that he hasn't shaved his armpits. I normally put hair removal cream under my arms, but I ain't done it for a few, a few weeks. So, you know, if I didn't want this top and I tried it on, you know, and I got like all sweat under my arms, what would they do? Put it back on the shelf, yeah? Put it back on the rack for someone else to buy with my sweat all over it. Yeah. No, this is a decent fit. Yeah, man. And just like that, Tyan Booth is ready for his date with OnlyFans star Alexia Grace. Enjoy this short teaser of what to expect in the next episode. We hope our members are enjoying all the exclusive content at Boxing King Media. I think he's really rude, actually, and difficult to speak to. A bargain for only £2.99 pence a month.